welcome. This is the premiere of, uh, I guess, kind of my first book that I'm publishing, Who is the Holy Spirit? Um, there's lots of things to talk about, about why I am doing this myself and not going through some organization or some such thing, but that's uh, a topic for other videos. Um, I've been working on a lot of different projects over the past five years. The Lord uh, revealed to me when I was frustrated that I was never actually getting anything done that he was using it to enable me to follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And so God was free to say, okay, today you're going to work on this, you know, and then the next day you're going to work on this. Give me this day my daily bread. And, uh, and so I realized like, okay, um, nothing was lost. God was giving me what I needed and was teaching me, uh, basically he was giving me and continues to give me a theological education, um, not in man's way, but in his way. And it's really kind of amazing how uh, it's added up. A lot of the things that God has taught me are things that I've never heard anybody talk about, not to say that nobody ever has, um, but uh, I just, I love I love being taught. I love being taught by the Lord and the idea that I can be able to freely share that with other people um, is amazing. And so there was a time when I started ministry school in Waco, Texas in 2012 and I uh, thought about this question, who, who is this Holy Spirit? And the, the answer is, at that time, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. you know, it seems like you ought to be able to answer that question if you consider yourself to be a Christian. But I just, I, I, I didn't know. And I couldn't answer the question. Um, and so eventually, as I'm working on all these different projects, I knew that God was just, just the lightest little intuition, the lightest little whisper. Like, okay, I mean, you know, I guess theoretically someday... Uh, I will work on a on a book about the Holy Spirit, and then that's all it was. It's just kind of like a little seed or something. And then eventually, about three years ago, I started working on this project, and God would give me these like flashes of inspiration and motivation. And um, over time, it just really started adding up to something. And I'm just kind of like, you know, as I look at it today, I'm kind of I'm just amazed. Like I like I I can't do this. Um, I, it seems like somebody else did it really. Uh, and so I'm just very, I'm just very thankful for, um, what God has done and is doing and that I get to give, give it away freely. Uh, this book is a long book. But it's not like a a regular book in that you sit there and you and you read page to page to page to page every single word or some such thing. It's really almost more like a a Bible study. Um, I wanted to put scripture in the most prominent place in this book, and so in some sense, it's a compilation of scriptures on various topics, and then. I have comments as footnotes where uh, applicable. Uh, this book is, at the present time, it is a, I would say, kind of like a final draft. Everything that I publish a video on, I have edited and re-edited. Uh, the book is not done and the pages are not necessarily set, as it were, but I felt like that now now is the time that the Lord wanted me to start um, kind of putting it out there. And so the the book right now is is more than a thousand pages and I don't I don't want 
I don't want anybody to be intimidated by that number. I mean, I'm frankly kind of flabbergasted by that number. It's kind of crazy. Um, but just look at the table of contents. And you just see the topics that are listed. I'm going to go through them here in a minute. You see the topics that are listed. And it's just like, what you know, what's... What interests me? What is my question? What do I want to know? And I think that you just like very quickly start getting into you like, oh, what about this? And what about that? And and even in just starting from the beginning, it is true that that we need to lay a groundwork because um, uh, because there's an awful lot in the Bible, more than 500 passages using just the word spirit alone. And so understanding which one of those are the Holy Spirit and then what the Bible teaches about the Holy Spirit. And of course, along the way, we're, we're basically getting a lesson in spirituality and spiritual wisdom because we're grappling with all of the verses that use the word spirit and not just, you know, the Holy Spirit or something like that. So, just, just like start flipping like reading through the book uh it is a a pdf that will be linked on um in the description of every video that i make and i guess i should say one more thing about because it's a little bit of a work in progress on the the third page of the pdf labeled errata where i am sort of asking people you know hey if you find an error please let me know because i I'm only one set of eyes, and there's sure to be errors in this since I'm the only one that did it. Uh, there's a version date at the bottom of the page, and so like if you you make sure that it's the the most recent version, because obviously if there's a difference between the one that you have and the one that you downloaded, then there was a, a an update to the the text somehow. So. Just very briefly going through the <coughs> excuse me the outline of the book, we start with first principles. Um, what is a spirit? And uh, I was actually well into writing this book and just kind of had this epiphany, as I had many epiphanies while I was writing this book, and just asking the, the question, okay, if we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit, well, what about a spirit? Like, what the heck is a spirit? We are used to the, the just the physical realm. We're used to, you know, the scientific method and empirical things that you can poke and prod and test and measure, right? And so, like, well, you know, do you put a spirit in a test tube? <laughs> <laughs> what you know what what is a spirit and so then i go through um the the bible teaches that there are four rational spirits um the human spirit angels unclean spirits and then of course the holy spirit and so i go through those um color coding is going to be a, another video talking about how how exactly the the, the verses are organized um, then part two, so after we've sort of laid the groundwork and the foundation, the framework that we need to be able to understand and answer this question in an effective way, um, part two is who is the Holy Spirit? Um, he is God. He is personal. And so these are, these are um, groupings of verses that give evidence for the, the kind of general outline that I'm saying. And so whenever whenever you observe an entity doing things that a we know a person does, speak, lead, teach, act, plan, cause, create, uh, have self-awareness, and then we we inevitably come to the conclusion okay well this this must be a person because they're doing all the things that a person does right uh what does the holy spirit do he points to jesus he teaches he leads he gives gifts on and on and on 
then the next chapter is typologies of the Holy Spirit. The idea of a, a typology is like a likeness, a symbol, something that is representative of something else. And there's, there's an absolute um, treasure of these in all kinds of ways. For example, uh, Abraham is a, a typology of the father and Isaac, his son, is a typology of the son. And we see that in, in different ways. Uh, there are lots of typologies of the Holy Spirit. Oil, water, wine, wind, fire. He's like a body, which is kind of ironic, right? Because he doesn't have a body. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Funny. I mean, he does have a body, Jesus. But it's kind of funny um, that the Bible talks about him as like a body. Um, the names of the Holy Spirit. And so here it's just basically I go through the, the ways that um, the biblical authors refer to <clears throat> the person of the Holy Spirit. And then part three is almost more like a reference. And so instead of the verses being organized kind of more topically, the verses are organized based upon the color coding system, which is the, 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 essentially a grading system of how sure we are that we're talking about the Holy Spirit. And so as we, we green is most definitely the Holy Spirit, yellow is a little bit warning, want to pay attention, want to use some caution. And then red is not even using the word spirit. And so we have to make some pretty strong inferences um, okay. And so the, the, those are organized based upon explicit reference to the Holy Spirit, inferred reference, which we're talking about a spirit, but we're not necessarily, we're not guaranteed that it's the Holy Spirit. And then, um, all the other references to a spirit that are not the Holy Spirit, in other words, angels, demons, and the human spirit. And then some special topics. And so that uh, that is that is basically an outline of the book, and we're I'm just gonna go through and be making videos about the particular topics, and so I'm gonna start with the front matter, and then just work my way as I make new videos through the the part one, the first principles, and. Uh, and then eventually get to part two where we start answering the question, who is the Holy Spirit?